Oh, hi, how are you? We're back from the 1640s. Have you been to the 1640s? Honey, the 1640s are amazing. So I wanted to talk today about a comment that I received on how to trap a spirit because people ask in questions and the queen has to answer those questions, okay? If I wanted to put it in a jar, this is about trapping a spirit. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go find that video. It's called How to Trap a Spirit. It's not that hard to find. Just go to my video section, search it up. I don't care how you do it, you'll find it, trust. If I wanted to put it in a jar, could you give some advice on what I'm sure, on that I'm sure I can tap into the energy? I just need to know what to say. What to say? People speak when they do witchcraft. I mean, I don't know. Say whatever the fuck you want to say. It's all about feeling the energy of the spirit that's in the jar. You're tapping into their energy. You don't really need words for that. You just need to sit and meditate and feel the energy that the spirit is giving off. Now, if you are somebody who uses words in your craft, I don't know, come up with some kind of rhyming spell or spell that doesn't rhyme, however you want to do it, I don't really care. But you could just come up with some words that honor, respect, and appreciate the entity that you've trapped, if you will, and you basically from there just are asking it to give you your, give you some of its energy or let you tap into its energy. But when I typically do these types of things where it comes to spirits that I put in a jar or entities that I've put in some kind of object that they can either call home, kind of like a um, servitor or yeah, kind of like a servitor, right? But it's, it's not, it's not like I'm creating a servitor. It's like, I'm just giving a home to a spirit or in some cases I'm actually trapping the spirit into something because it's evil or whatever the case may be. Maybe I'm just a bitch, right? Sometimes you just have to be a bitch and just demand that the universe gives you what you want or you're going to hold all of its spirits in jars. <laughs> Fuck doing jar magic on people, yo. Do jar magic on the universe. Just trap all the spirits in jars. <laughs> I'm gonna trap you in a jar. <laughs> Till the universe does what I say. Anyways. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna get very far. The universe has a shit ton of spirits, bitch. You're gonna be, you're gonna be spending decades, okay? Decades. But it's not really about saying like in Minecraft it's not about saying anything it's about feeling the energy now I don't know what your craft is like so I don't know how you're going to go about doing that but some tips that I can give you from the 1530s <laughs> you're like you keep going backwards in time I really do I'm from 1284 BC okay like we got a whole centuries to go here, people. Okay, I'm just giving you the good stuff. I mean, 622 AD was amazing, but 1770 was even better. <laughs> so, um, going back to our, our spirit business, when you trap, when, when you trap, when you tap into something's energy, it feels different than your own energy or the energy of the ambient space around you. It feels different. That's all I can say. I don't know how it will feel for you, but it will definitely feel different. And it can take a while because it's about like being in a deep meditative trance kind of way where you're nothing else matters in the world. And all you see, again, this is from my perspective of my craft, okay? But all you see is like energy and all you feel is energy and all you know is energy and you can tell that your energy is different than the ambient room energy, which kind of holds some of your energy, right? So there's some similarities there, but it feels different. And then there's the energy of the entity or the thing that you're working with or the spell that you've done that is also different. And you can feel the differences, you know what I mean? So I don't really know how you're going to tap into a spirit that you've trapped in a jar because I don't know your craft and everybody's craft is different. but. However you tap into energy is how you would tap into the spirit's energy, okay? I hope that gives you some advice. And until next time, Tubies, when we will discuss what it was like to be alive in 1346 on December the 2nd at 8.45 p.m. There was a murder mystery going on then. I may have been involved in it.